We'll start with yesterday's game. Uh, the Mariners, it's Garrett Cole for the pitching for the Yankees. Last time we played against Garrett Cole, we hit him super well. We had three home runs first inning. Jared Kelnick even hit a home run. Um, and we ended up winning that game, I believe, 7-2 to two or something like that. Something along those lines. Um, yesterday, a whole lot different. Garrett Cole was dominating us. It makes sense. He's an ace pitcher. That's what ace pitchers do. Ace pitchers dominate against uh, pretty much against any team, but especially against a team like the Mariners, who maybe don't have the greatest offense in the league. But luckily for us, we had our ace pitcher on the mound as well, Luis Castillo. Oh my goodness, this guy is a dude. Luis Castillo is good. And uh, I'll admit, you know, when we first made the trade, I wasn't a big fan of it. I, th I thought it was a bad trade. I thought it was an L trade. But holy smokes, that was a good trade. And uh, Luis Castillo has been super good. He's allowed, I think, what, three or four runs since he got here. He pitches deep into games. He, One thing I think is really underrated about Castillo is just his ability to get deep into games. He is so strong to start off games, and he just, like, guys cannot hit against him in the first couple innings. So he's a lot like Robbie Ray in that sense. And so right now, the Mariners, with Luis Castillo, our rotation is looking so good. And Castillo proved why that trade was worth it against Garrett Cole. He went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, him and Garrett Cole, both pitching into the seventh inning. It was the first time in, I believe, like, eight years since both pitchers had gone seven innings or more at T-Mobile Park. The last time it happened, it was Felix Hernandez uh, against Cole Hamels. And it was the fourth time in our history. Felix did it a second time, and Cliff Lee also did it once against Derek Holland back in 2010. So for the fourth time in the history of our stadium, both pitchers pitched into the seventh inning, and that would be Garrett Cole, a Cy Young Award winner for the Yankees, one of the best pitchers in the league, against Luis Castillo, who is, you know, not a signing award winner, but it could happen someday. He definitely has the stuff to potentially get there someday. But both All-Stars, it, it was a great pitching matchup. So anyways, pitching matchup, it's a pitcher's duel, really just an electric game. What happens? Ninth inning, nobody can score. Tenth inning, nobody can score. The Mariners, our bullpen's trying to get depleted. We've got Seawald, he pitches well. Andres Munoz comes in. That guy is a stud. Strikes out the heart of the Yankees lineup. Munoz continues to prove why he deserves to be a member of the Seattle Mariners and why he should probably be our closer, you know, our full-time closer pretty soon, because Munoz has been looking so good lately, just throws so hard, he throws absolute gas, gets it past everybody. So we got Munoz, he comes in, then what happens when we got Matt Festa, he pitches well, and then Matt Brash. And Matt Brash comes in in the 12th inning, a guy who, you know, started the season as a starter, wasn't very good as a starter, we moved him to the bullpen, sent, sent him down for a bit, he comes in the 12th inning against the New York Yankees, with the runner on second inning, and he gets him in one of the craziest double plays I've ever seen, in which the runner on second, I, I'm not, I don't remember who it was, whoever it was on second tries to go to third, Suarez chases him down, throws him out, and then Kiner Falefa, the guy who hit the ground ball, he's trying to go for two because the guy on second was in a pickle. Kiner Falefa thinks, hey, I'll take the chance and go for second. Nope, Suarez, great heads up play. Him and Haggerty end up making an incredible play there and they double up Kiner Falefa on the base paths. Just a stupid base running error by the Yankees, and they made a lot of stupid base running errors in last night's game, but it all pays off for the Mariners. I believe we made three double plays, um, and there was also uh, at least one pickoff. So the Yankees, you know, their base running was not good last night, and we'll take it. Uh, our defense just entirely, though. It was a special game for our defense. Sam Haggerty made a really good catch out in center field. Jared Kelnick, before he was taken out of the game, he also made a great catch in center field that's pretty much the one thing Jared Kelnick has actually been able to do for us is play solid defense out there in center uh and then Matt Brash comes back in in the 13th inning after we strand the bases loaded in the bottom of the 12th so Matt, Matt Brash comes back in in the 13th and he does it again he goes one two three bam 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 uh they walk Aaron Judge we, they, we bring the intentional walk to Aaron Judge but after that Brash gets all three outs and then you come to the bottom of the 13th inning and here come the Mariners it's the bottom of the order uh, and they, the Yankees make a very interesting move in which they intentionally walked Sam Haggerty. Now, I thought it was a weird decision, but the Yankees thought it was smart. Haggerty's been hot lately. I get it. You know, he is, uh, is he a backup utility player? Yeah, he is. But has he been swinging a hot bat? Yeah, he has. He's hitting 325 in the season. So they put Sam Haggerty on base 
and they know, you know, who's next. Well, next hitter is supposed to be Matt Brash because we took the DH out of the game. Uh, we substituted in Mitch, Han or we substituted in Carlos Santana, uh, which took the DH out of the game. So then the pitcher has to hit. Obviously, Matt Brash isn't going to hit. So instead, in walks pinch hitter Luis Torrens, and Luis Torrens, he's basically done nothing for us at all this year. He's been our worst player, our worst hitter. He has just one home run, like ten runs batted in. Like the dude, he's been pretty much worth negative value offensively. He's been so bad. Bases loaded for Torrens, one out, and I'm thinking, oh boy, he's going to hit into a double play, and then we're going to have to take Brash out, and we're going to have to bring in somebody new from the bullpen. And, you know, our bullpen's kind of running running thin, so who knows what'll happen. And what does Luis Torrens do? Walk-off single to score, uh, I believe it was Suarez, walk-off single to, or no, to score Cal Rally. Cal Rally scores, and Luis Torrens walk-off single and the Mariners win one of the most thrilling games, the longest game of the season, the most innings we've played all season, one of the best pitching duels we've seen in T-Mobile Park history. The Mariners come out on top. So that was yesterday's game.